everyone, welcome. Welcome to a brand new Mobicell V4 accessibility video. However, please take note that this is more based upon audio content than on video content. So I do apologize for any weird video uh, pictures that might be in the background. I am a completely blind user of Mobicell devices. And I am Walter. I'm a part of the VICast podcast team. This video is sort of done on behalf of VICast. But the main purpose of this video is to bring more coverage to the Mobicell brand. I want to make a bit of a more awareness about Mobicell as a brand in South Africa. And if someone can import it from around the world, around the world as well. Um, it would be nice if other people in other countries can use this device as well. As we all know, Mobicell is a company, a South African company, like I said in my earlier videos, that in my earlier video, that build phones for lower cost, but that doesn't mean the phone lacks any elegancy or usability, because the phones actually do not lag any of those. Uh, particularly usability these days, um, particularly if you have the right device. Um, I would say the Mobicell V4 is a very good device when it comes to price and specifications and what it can do. Um, it comes around in about 600 South African Rand. And for the price you pay, I think you do get value for money. I'm actually using this device as we speak now to shoot this video, although I'm not a pro at video recording. Um, it's more about the audio content like I've mentioned earlier. Because like I said, I am a blind user of this technology. So it's more about the audio. But if a sighted individual uh, wants to listen to the audio and find it interesting, then I'm very happy about that as well. This video is open to all and that's how I want this to stay, personally. Now in today's video, or demonstration I would rather say, in today's segment, I'm going to call it segments from now on, or podcast, I want to show the accessibility on the Mobicell V4. Now I have done some video a video in the past on the Mobicell Astro when it comes to accessibility but I just want to come in today and show that Mobicell actually kept up their accessibility um, whether it's intentional or not intentional I hope it's intentional which I believe it is I think all companies want people to use their devices that they actually kept it up in the Mobicell V4 and that it works really well. Now, in this particular uh, instance, I'm going to use Google TTS on the demonstration device, and I'm going to try to keep it as close as possible to the microphone. I don't have it set up on the computer or anything where the audio can blend in. I'm still working on a method to do that so that I can actually upload it to YouTube uh, in that manner as well and when I actually do manage to do that I will inform all of you so I'm going to unlock the other device in order to get this to work and then I'm going to navigate around and just show how accessible this phone actually is so I'm gonna do this now 1709 it read the time to me this phone is running Google Android 8.1 Go Edition and it is loaded with TalkBack. Now one on. thing that I have noticed is that when you get yourself a Mobicell Android Go device WhatsApp is using battery. Tap for details on battery. I do apologize for that. Now one thing that I found is that TalkBack is not pre-installed on the Mobicell device. Now I think I understand why it's not because I mean sighted people usually do not use TalkBack so I guess they felt that it's not necessary to include Google TalkBack on the phone. 
However, I do hope that in the future they can consider, MobiCell can consider it to include Google Talkback in their phones. I will try and contact them and talk to them about this and see if we can't work out something. Because what if there are people like me that needs to use the phone with speech and I can't set it up by myself? Um, although they are using the Google keyboard to do typing and so forth and uh, the Google keyboard is very accessible and it works very well by the way. Not to highlight any brands or anything like that because this is not what it's supposed to be. However, we are. I am highlighting MobiCell as a brand because this podcast is all about MobiCell. So, if the if MobiCell can include Talkback and allow us to actually switch it on on the setup screen as it actually was intended by Google to work, then we would be able to set up the device on our own. And when that can happen, things can become a little bit easier. But at the current stage, you have to get sighted assistance to install TalkBack. But when TalkBack is installed on the MobiCell, you will be able to use this phone successfully. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate today in this podcast. So I'm going to unlock this now. 1711. I'm going to try and put it as close to the microphone as I can without distorting the audio. I just want to... Selected. Tell... Expand Let me button. just move to the unlock button here. Unlock button. I just have to move double to the unlock, to unlock button. Unlock. And it says unlock button. Double tap to unlock. Device unlocked. This week in tech. M- I'm just going to go Home out button. of my app here. Podcast addict is using bat. All right. There we go. I'm, just, I'm using podcast addict for podcasts. Um, but anyway, I'm successfully focused on the home screen. Now, one thing I want to talk a little bit about is the fact that there's no physical home button on the MobiCell and on a lot of Android phones these days there are no physical home button but they are present on screen and TalkBack actually presents them. Home Home is sort of in the middle of the screen at the bottom. Then I'm going to move my finger towards the right. Overview button. Overview button that's the recent apps button and I move towards the left. Double tap and then to activate the, the home button. Message back button. And back button is more or less in the left. The network. Sorry about that. On the left hand side of the screen, normally where some phones' recent apps buttons were or so, the back button does sit there usually. Now on the on the MobiCell it does sit there and it is properly labeled. That's why I want to highlight this is that MobiCell actually did label that button quite well. Um, all the buttons do speak with TalkBack and they actually do work. So I'm gonna move on the home screen home. because if you are positioned on the home or back button and you swipe right or left, back you button. get all the buttons. Home overview button. Then you can just double tap double and it will tap. activate. Google Go. Now I just move a little bit upwards so that I can get focus on the home screen again. So I'm going to swipe to the right again. Home screen button. Google search. Voice search button. This is the voice Double search tap. button. Open lens button. Open lens. Home screen button. There's the home screen. Double tap. Folder Google. There's the f- folder Actions Google. Actions remove. Play store. This is where the Play Store is located. Apps list button. I'm just swiping to the right, Actions, and as you can see, wallpapers, widgets, over here, home settings, double tap to activate. Talkback does read the entire home screen, and I can double tap on where it says Apps List, and I can double tap here to open this. Apps List, search apps, edit box, and you can actually search for double an app, and it does text, work. Double tap and hold the long press. So I'm gonna just. Where's my ex- use explore by touch? Google Go in grid and it says Google Go. Columns. I can swipe Gmail. to the left. F- F- Con- clock. Actions. Clock. Chrome. Chrome. Camera. Camera. Calendar. Calendar. Calculator. Calculator. Assistant. Google Assistant. The Actions. Google Assistant Shortcuts actually does work. Home screen. Double tap to activate. Double tap and hold the long press. I'll actually try and show the Google Assistant at some point in some podcast. I might do that on the VICast website where we publish our podcast when it's not on YouTube. So I'm going to go Google Go again app, and then I'm going to go Maps, Messages. This is the messaging app. Mobicell. Mobicell. 
Mobile Soul Games, My MTN, My MTN Opera, Opera Mini, Opera Mini Op- Phone, and so photos, forth. Play, play Store, Podcast app, Settings. I'm going to go to Settings. Actions, shortcuts, Add to Home Screen, Double Tap to Activate, Double Tap and Hold the Long Press. I'm on Settings now. So I'm going to Double Tap to Open Settings and the Double Tap gesture works 100% on this Mobi Cell device. So I'm going to Double Tap on Settings to open it because I want to show the accessibility options available on this device. Settings. Search settings. Search settings. Double tap. I'm going to swap Search to the settings. right. Network and internet, Wi-Fi, mobile, data usage, hotspot, in list 13 I'm going items. I'm to move to the right again. Connected devices, Connected Bluetooth. devices. It Double says tap Bluetooth. to activate. Those, all those screens are accessible. This is more or less a standor, standard Android uh, user interface, which is really good because TalkBack is designed to work reasonably well and extremely well with the Android interface. Apps and notifications, permissions, default apps. As you can hear, it reads Battery. It. I'm going to move Display. to accessibility. Sound. Store. Security and... Go. Users and account. Schedule. Pop. Accessibility. Screen readers. Display. Interaction controls. There is accessibility. Double tap to activate. And I'm going to double tap on this to open accessibility now. Accessibility. Navigate up button. And I'm going to move double to the right. Double tap to activate. Accessibility. And it says accessibility, and I'm going to swap to the right again. Volume key shortcut off in list 22 items. This is the volume key shortcut. I need to Double turn tap. this on, actually. I haven't volume done this key on this shortcut. device. Navigate up button. And I'll let it Double explain what it does. Double tap to activate. Volume key shortcut. Off switch. I'm going to double tap on the Double to turn tap. it on. On. It says on. I'm going to swap to the right again. Shortcut service, talk back, enlist three items. Now you can actually double tap to activate. change what the shortcut can wants to, st- wants to start. Now I have it, by default it's on, it is on talk back. Now I do want it to be on talk back because I use it. So I'm going to swap to the right again. Allow from lock screen, off switch. Now I actually double do want this to, to work on the lock screen because sometimes I want someone to do something for me on the device. Maybe there's something I can't access properly or so forth. So then I can actually let them do it if I want TalkBack to be turned off while I'm on the lock screen. So on. I'm turning this on. When the shortcut is on, you can press both volume keys for three seconds to start an accessibility feature. This is exactly what it does. Uh, since Android 8 Oreo, this is a new feature and it actually works pretty nice. Because uh, I think the reason why... Google has brought this in is because lots of Android devices these days don't have physical home buttons that you can triple click home uh, like on instance on some Samsung devices although Samsung also moved away from a physical home button these days and uh, that is why Google brought this in because the most recent form factors these days don't have physical home buttons and it's a good way most phones have volume rocker keys or volume switches that you can press so that's why i think google brought this in which is really brilliant in my opinion so i'm going to swap to the right again navigate up button out of list i'm going to double tap on this because i'm done with this volume key screen readers heading the screen readers heading select to speak off here selected text i don't use select to speak but it is there talk back on speak items on screen this is part of the android activate this is part of the Android Accessibility Suite. Um, when you install that for the first time, it adds these options. Now, like I mentioned previously, it's not by default installed on the Mobicell itself, but it can be added and it works well. Text to speech output. You can use Double you can change your to text to speech output here as well. You can also do it in under system settings, language and input, advanced. Display heading. Okay, this Font is, size default. This is for Double visually impaired people uh, that has limited vision. Display size normal. You set the display magnification size. off. Magnification, Double you can turn it on and off here. I don't use magnification though. Large mouse pointer off switch. Interaction controls heading. Switch access off this control also, device with switches. You can control the Double device with switches activate. if you have difficulty using both hands or difficulty using your hands if you have a disability that requires this this is also available click after pointer stops moving off 
power button ends call off switch. I do want to turn this Double on tap actually, because it is uh, quite convenient to just press the power button to end a normal phone call. Now, unfortunately, this does not work with WhatsApp calls or Facebook Messenger calls and things like that. I wish they could integrate it so that it would actually work with those as well. That would have been nice, but unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. But I still prefer to use this feature. On. So I just turned it on. I just double tapped to switch it on. To switch it on. Touch and hold delay short. This is the touch double and hold delay. Activate. For me, it works fine, but you can increase the sensitivity of this. Audio and on-screen text heading. This is also Mono good. Mono audio, combine channels when playing audio, off switch. You can combine channels. Double I do apologize. I do apologize for the dogs barking in the background. It is just background noise. I do want to apologize for that in advance. Captions off. You Double can also use captions. Activate. Experimental heading. This is experimental features in accessibility. High contrast text off switch. High contrast text. Double tap to activate. Color correction off. Color correction. Double tap to activate. Color inversion. And there you have it. Quite accessible, working quite nicely. Color inversion. I just oh, want to go towards the back button. Settings. Accessibility. Screen readers. As you can see, it out of list. works. Back button. Let me see if I can demonstrate. List. Settings in grid, eight rows, four Let me go back home, again. Button. Back button. Let me do this. Home screen one of two. Google Go. Okay. Messages. Oh. Apps list. I'm just moving to the apps Search list. Search apps. Edit box. Now let me apps see if list. I can demonstrate how this actually works. End of field. Okay. Launcher three. I think it did open the keyboard. Let's see. D d search. Yes, it did open Delete. the keyboard. So let's type in, hmm, let's say, CL. Capital X. X. Capital V. Capital X. X. Capital C. Charlie. Capital C. K. Delete. L. L. Okay, I typed in CL. Now let's Clock swap. in list four items. Clock. It found it. The Actions. results. Search for more app. And it found clock. So as you can see, you can search for an app, and when you double tap on clock, it will launch it. So as you can see, the keyboard is fully functional on the mobile cell. Astro and I mean the Mobicell V4 and on the Astro it does work. So Home button I'm up, gonna go back button. Press the back Open button. Features menu. And I'm gonna go to the back back again. Home screen one of two. Google Go. And Launch there we have it. This is a basic overview of the accessibility on a Mobicell V4. So the title of this will be Mobicell V4 Accessibility. Uh, <clears throat> I hope that you all will find this video intuitive. Feedback is welcome. And when new podcasts about this device becomes available, I will certainly let everyone know, for those who would be interested, particularly the blind and low vision community, and anyone who would be interested can also take a listen to it. The podcast is open to everyone to listen to and experience so until the next recording have a good day everyone goodbye 1830 stop record button